What's up guys? Welcome back. I am excited for today's video. We're back flipping another nightstand today. And I actually haven't done any nightstands recently, so I'm excited for this one. I've been doing a lot of desks, and so it'll be nice to um, mix up my flips for this video. But I'm here today with this little guy. It's a, just a tiny little nightstand. Um, I bought this a few days ago off Facebook Marketplace from a gal for $5. So as you can see, she's looking a little bit rough. No, these are not stripes. This is chipping veneer. Um, so I was hoping that this piece would be like a beginner friendly piece, but I'm not sure that it's going to be because the veneer is failing in multiple spots. So this is gonna be a little bit different um, than what I usually do. I'm going to have to fix this, but yeah, it's just a nice little nightstand and hopefully we can turn it into something cute. My plan as of right now is to try to leave any existing veneer that's intact, um, unpainted. If you're new to my channel, you guys might not know that I really, really like saving or appreciating wood. Um, I don't like to see just people paint everything. I really think that good wood and um, wood that's in good shape should be appreciated for what it is. So I'm definitely gonna try like this drawer maybe or the shelves to leave what I can wood. What I can't, we will paint. But um, yeah, so like the top seems to be in pretty good shape. It's just scratched up and stuff, but I'm definitely gonna have to work at this veneer and see what I can come up with there. So we're gonna go ahead and get started right now, actually. I'm gonna try this. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this or not, but this piece right here was just one veneer piece. It stops right here at this seam on both sides. So I'm actually gonna see if I can't just pick the rest of this veneer off so that this whole section is bare. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was hard. It look, it seems like somebody maybe has tried to re-glue it in some spots. Yeah, it's definitely been re-glued. Somebody was trying to save it. <laughs> and if this veneer was still in one piece and it was just kind of breaking or chipping, I would definitely try to save it as well. But it's not, sadly. Oh my gosh. So somebody definitely tried to glue this piece back. Well, they, they didn't try, they did glue this piece back on. So it's proving very tough to get off. They used some good wood glue. So I've gotten off what I can. These little bits that are still stuck on here hopefully will come off with some coarse sandpaper. But otherwise, um, you can see at the bottom, if I show you here, the veneer is actually coming up right here. So being this whole piece is still in really good shape, I am gonna go ahead and put a bunch of wood glue under there 
to clamp this down so we can save this piece because it's coming up on this side too. And I don't want this to get any worse than it is. On our opposite side, we do already have some damage on the bottom corner. As you can see here, the veneer has caught on something and pulled off. Now this section here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to save this as well. Um, and I'll keep you updated on that. I'm not totally sure how I wanna do it yet. <laughs> All right guys, we're back. There is a lot more furniture in here than the last time we spoke because I went a little crazy um, a couple days ago with some curb alerts and an estate sale. I'm gonna try to keep working on my nightstand so I can get it done and out of here. It's currently up, <laughs> up on that guy, which I'm actually not um, real mad about because I found this like buffet type of thing but it's from like an old classroom and I'm kind of digging it as like a work bench area. So I don't know if I'm gonna flip it or keep it, but anywho, this is the nightstand we're working on, right? So um, I kind of want to get this thing sanded so that I can take it in the house because I, I want to try to salvage the veneer so there's a spot here where the veneer is gone. And then I showed you guys on the other side, this chunk that's gone. And I think if I paint the sides and the front, maybe I could try to use wood filler and fill this, sand it over so you can't really tell and do the same thing here. Um, and then, yeah, just paint and leave wood what I can. I don't know. I'm gonna sand it before I make any final decisions because I just don't know what I wanna do with it yet. Cause I literally like saving wood if I can. Okay, so I've got everything pretty much sanded as much as I want it sanded. Um, the top, this like square chunk on the top is a little bit different than this type of stuff along the edge. So I'm not totally sure how they're gonna finish out. I don't know, it's a, a little bit different in color. So I don't know how I'm gonna address that yet or if I will necessarily, but um, I went ahead and scuff sanded all of the inside here as well as both of the sides um, just to rough it up a little bit so that the paint and primer will stick. And then what else have I done? Oh, the drawer. I did the drawer as well. I think with the drawer, I'm going to leave this either raw or stained wood and then paint inside the square. Um, I do have the handle. I'm going to probably try to clean this up. Uh, oh my gosh, I just broke it. Literally just broke it. Wow. Wow. I like happened to see that it had a little crack and now it's, now it's completely broke. So that's really cool, I guess. So I'm getting a new knob or a new handle, <laughs> which actually I might have one right here that will fit it. Let's see. So I have some knobs or handles over here from a past project because one of them was broken. So I just saved, oh, this one, that one's broken. 
So I saved the old ones. Do they fit? Ah, oh, they don't fit. That's gonna, that's a big space. Okay, I guess I need to get a new handle for it, but yeah, I think I'm gonna tape this off where it needs so that I can spray it with primer before I start painting. about the one veneer chip on that corner and I need to fill that and this one before I prime those spots. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this in house. Also my wood glue, because I mentioned that we were gonna re-glue where the veneer is kind of separating. And um, my glue has been sitting out here in the shed where it's cold and it's gotten kind of hard so it needs to soften inside. So we're gonna go ahead and move everything into the house so that um, it can be warm and we can move on. <laughs> All right guys, I'm outside and I'm ready to prime this nightstand the rest of the way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime both sides, the front drawer face, and then the strip on the bottom. So, guys I am gonna go ahead and start painting once I find my paint I'm gonna go ahead and start painting I am using this Kensington gray again you guys have seen me use this in a lot of projects this year but uh, I still got like half a can in here so I'm gonna work on using it up for this project so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more it's pretty dry but just to let it kind of harden and then get started with this.
day or six months, and then you think an entire life. You know, I've been alive for 50 years, 28 of those I've been sober for. Well, first of all, because the meetings that I go to are mostly like older people, you know that. So. All right guys, it's been like a week, maybe more, but I've had kind of a dilemma with the stupid new drawer pull. So I was putting it off um, for a while because I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby last weekend to see if they had anything that would fit um, a four and a half, which is extremely hard to find on Amazon. I don't know why they don't have shit for four and a half inch center to center drawer pulls. So, I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby a week ago, and that was the plan all day, and then my boyfriend ran really late, so we ended up not being able to go to Hobby Lobby while we were in town. So that was annoying, and so I was like, I guess I will just look on Amazon again and just try to find something. So I eventually, I don't even think I got it from Amazon. I got it from some other website. I came across this one which I wanted a cooler one than this, but I was just desperate to get one at this point. And this one's fine. I think I'm gonna spray paint it gold because it's just a brush bronze color, which is fine. But I think I would like it better if it was gold, so I think I'm gonna do that. But now, the stupid holes aren't big enough to set this down in it. So the holes need to be bigger. <coughs> oh my gosh, okay. So I'm gonna try make the holes bigger. I don't have like an array of different bits, so I'm just gonna try to work at them <coughs> and work them bigger. All right, guys, I ended up having to bring this bad boy inside to finish it. Um, as you guys have seen, because it's cold outside right now, but I went ahead and finished the inside of the drawer um, with that fabric. And it does have like two coats of clear coat all over it. So it's basically ready to go. Um, I accidentally made it matching to this dresser behind me. So when I have the, the video of the dresser up, you will you can see how, how they match together. But since I already started filming a video for this nightstand without even realizing that I was making the matching, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this video, but it came out really nice on the top, um, on the sides. This is the side that had the, the bad corner. And you really can't even tell that it was there unless you're re looking really close. Like unless you're looking for it, you can't really tell that there was a bum corner there. So overall, it came out really nice. And I would say I'm pretty happy with this one. So far it is sold. Um, my sister-in-law, technically they're not married yet, but um, decided that she wanted this one with the matching dresser. So, so far they are sold already. So this little $5 nightstand turned into like $75. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out super cute. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.